back on European waters. Sicily waits for us to recover some textile luggage and a drone before catching our ferry to Cagliari. Hmm, this is a totally different story. Newer, more comfortable, the ferry taking us from Palermo to Sardinia is of a different standard. However, 10 hours on the ferry is still long and boring. Plenty of time to walk around, read a book or make new friends to share experiences with. Where are you guys? Yes! Almost time to get on the motorcycle and drive away! Bye! Nice to meet you! A sophisticated Italian island, Sardinia, is known for the Emerald Coast, with turquoise emerald waters, sandy beaches and some fantastic roads for motorcycle riders. Sheep, goats, and the amazing smell of flowers all over the island. Sardinia is in full spring, late October. We're in heaven! The heaven of motorcycle riders! Sardinia is absolutely perfect. Perfect weather, perfect tarmac and the smell of flowers in the air is breathtaking. I don't want to move. I want to stay here. 35 kilometers north of Cagliari, a giant telescope, also used for space science, touches the clouds. Sardinia telescope weighs 3,300 tons and the primary mirror is 64 meters in diameter. Construcția asta e ca un bărbat. Tot timpul ascultă, n-are de comentat nimica. Doar ascultă. Zice da, 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 da. Ascultă numai. Between Arbatax and Dorgali, a narrow winding road snakes through the Sardinian countryside. SS 125, Orientale Sarda Road, is a rare find and one of the best motorcycle riding experiences you will ever have. A balcony road making you feel like having tickets to a symphony of twists and turns followed by street sections and some more bands. And you have the best seat in the house. Brake, lean, and pull the throttle again to ride like a storm through the next straight section. That's if you're Alex. Me? I'm taking my time admiring this grand panorama and capturing on camera this gorgeous place. This magnificent sight accompanies you all the way. Gena Silana Pass rewards you with magnificent views and, if time permitted, challenging hiking trails. Since we're on an island, why not go wild? Well, as much as they allow it. Camping is an option. Unfortunately, wild camping is not permitted in Italy. The fine is between 100 and 500 euros, so an organized campsite will do just fine. Mă orientez după GPS. Prima la dreapta, stânga, stânga, lângă piscina. Piscina, piscina, piscina. Number 11, 11, cum îi zice? 11, numărul 11, suntem noi. There are plenty of camping areas in Sardinia and if you are lucky, you'll end up right on the seaside, facing the vast turquoise Mediterranean. Good morning, everyone. 
from where the hell are we now? <laughs> in Sardinia? What's the name of the place? Calagonone. Good morning from Calagonone. We slept for the first time in this trip in a tent, in a camping in Sardinia. It was really nice during the day, but during night time, even though I had everything, absolutely everything I needed to have a good night, warm, cozy sleep, it was hot when I got in. But during the night, it got colder and colder and colder up until my throat hurts, my head hurts, and I feel like I need a tea, hot, hot, hot cup of tea, and the paracetamol. See you on the other side of the tent. You can find anything you need on a camping. From toilets, showers, kitchen and sometimes a restaurant. A little village with street names and preset locations. two people and two motorcycles is about 25 euros per night, low season. Remember, to use the electricity you need a special adapter or socket. If you don't have one, the camping reception will be happy to provide one for you. You will still need to pay a refundable small guarantee for the device. Show me the charge station. Follow the black cable. Follow the black cable. Follow the line. Follow the black cable. Follow the black cable. And if you want a cup of tea, <laughs> the best cup in the world. The stunning, twisty Sardinian roads are bordered by cork oaks. Cork is considered one of Sardinia's most characteristic natural resources. Long finger I have. Sardinia is known as the only Italian region where cork grows naturally and it produces 80% of the corks used in they Italy. Make corks from it for the very best wine of Sardinia. Sleeping in a tent is quite relaxing until you need to prepare for the next ride. Deflating airbags, taking down your tent, that's easy. Packing it all to fit the original space, that's the challenge. But having fun while doing it and the lasting memories you make, the bond you create, worth all the effort. Chiuso. Chiuso. We're heading to Santa Teresa Galura, the departure port for Corsica. The road taking us there is fabulous. Northern Sardinia has the most beautiful landscape. Paradise Coast and the Emerald Coast are just breathtaking. This is what we were searching for all this trip. You feel like an explorer who, after intense training and extensive search, riding through heavy storms and scorching heat, finally reaches the islands of the Blessed. 
Ignusa Lines operates three ferries per day in October, and we just caught the last one. At that moment, when you leave your bikes on the ferry to be tied down by somebody else and say goodbye for about one hour, we are leaving out to Corsica. About 90 euros per motorcycle, 40 minutes ferry ride to Bonifacio. L'Ile de Botte, the island of beauty. Corsica is our next destination. Famous Corsican mountain roads will take us looking for Napoleon Bonaparte, Ruda Canyon and Calon de Piana, one of the most beautiful roads in the world.